Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video, I'll be trying out the Dope 400 Classic to see what it's like for spray paint art. So the Dope 400 Classic is Dope's cheapest spray paint in the range. It comes in a 400ml can and has a low pressure valve system. It also comes with a level 4 fat cap, the lacquer base is acrylic, it has a matte finish and there are around 62 colours in the range. And the price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it costs around £3.45 a can. And the colours I'll be using are Royal Blue, Deep Green, White and Black. Right, before I go any further, I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well the Dope Classic spray paint works for making spray paint art. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays. So I'll be using the stock cap that comes with the cans in this video, which is a level 4 fat cap. And I'll be doing the cap test on a 4 inch wide piece of glossy card. Right then, before you use the cans, make sure you give them a good shake for at least 2 minutes each. And when you get them, there'll be a plastic cap on them like this. This is only there to protect the cap so it doesn't spray everywhere while in transit. So when you get the cans, the plastic caps on them like this, so all you have to do is take them off, put that to one side, and I'll be doing the cap test with the black spray paint. This is the first time using the Dope 400 Classic. So give it a shake and spray some paint through the cap. And then like I said, I'm going to be doing the cap test on this 4 inch wide piece of glossy card here. First thing I've noticed on the can there, the coloured donut's a bit loose on here. See? So I'm going to take that off a thing for this one. So I'll do the cap test here. So as you saw there, the cap produced a wide line about three and a half inches wide and in places almost as wide as the card which is four inches wide. It did let quite a bit of paint out as well. So it might be harder to do finer things in the painting but we'll give it a go and see what it's like. So I'll just give you a closer look of this. I'll just move this one out of the way as well. Now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting I'll be using glossy card which is A2 in size. And the materials I'll be using are some lid stencils. These are just lids off food tubs, different size ones. I'll be using a metal paint scraper. I'll be using a palette knife to sign a painting with at the end. I'll be using this food tub which is a cone shaped food tub but I put a hole in the bottom. And I'll also be using some plastic sheets. These are from a bag that I've cut up so it's easier to use. These will be used to make the texture on the planets and in the painting. So the first thing we'll do is get the lid stencils and place them on the sheet where you want your planets to go. I think I'll have one here. One there. One there. And one here I think, something like that. So then I'm going to get a blue. I'm just going to spray round them to give you an outline of where your planets are going to go. So I'll just pull some blue through this cap. Move these out of the way a bit. Well, like I said, these are fat caps on here, so it's going to lay a lot of paint out. So I'm going to be pressing the cap down pretty light to let less paint out. So I'm pressing the cap down pretty light here and still laying a lot of paint out. So that's what fat caps do. 
lets a lot more paint over in like a skinny cap. So I'll just move these lid stencils out of the way for now. So just see what the cap's like when I press it at low pressure. See when you just slightly press it down, it doesn't let much out. You still get a, a lot, big spray, big area it covers. Then if you press it down hard, produces a lot of paint there. So it's a fat cap producing a lot of paint. The valve system seems all right. Quite nice to use. Press it light and it just lets a bit of paint out. Press it full and it lets a lot of paint out like there. So now we have the outlines for the planet. We're gonna fill them in with some colors. So get the green first, pull some paint through. Yeah, loads of paint come out of these. So I'll be pressing the cap as light as I can for this painting. See with the cap, fat cap, see how fast it fills the area up with paint. Don't need to press it that hard because if you press it too hard you'll have a lot of paint in one spot and it'll start pooling. So when you put colours on top of it, it'll start separating. So we'll get a black and put some black on it. Now we'll get a white, just pull some paint through this white. See plus with the fat caps, when you spray it onto a sheet, it oversprays a lot more. So we'll get the material that we're using to make the texture. Like I said, I'm going to be using the plastic bag that I've cut up so it's easier to use. So crunch it up a bit, screw it up a bit so we get some lines on it for your texture. So we've got some crinkles in there, lines in that for your texture. And we'll just place it on over the paint where your planet is. Give it a light rub. And pull it back off. Juice your texture. So I'll have a texture on that one. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now we're going to add some highlights and shadows to it. So I'm going to use a white first and do the highlight here. What we want to do is a kind of mist. Might be a bit hard with these fat caps, but let's try. So I just press it down lightly and quickly move across the sheet as you're spraying it so you get like a mist effect. That's turned out pretty well, I think. Quite like that. Quite like the mist effect off these fat caps. Now we'll do the shadowed area here. So, like I said, I'll be pressing these caps lightly to let a lot lot less paint out. So like that, I'll do for that planet. Now I'm going to move on to this one. Well, what you can do if you are using a cap that's producing a lot of paint, what you can do is you can get a sheet of card or something like that. And I'm going to use this for this painting to stop the overspray going back on these planets as I'm working my way through them. So what you can do is Get a piece of card, like this, piece of wood, anything like that. Metal paint scraper can do, like this. You can have that, to put it there, like that. Anything really. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just put it there. So when I'm spraying, I get no overspray onto the planet I've already done. So, bit of blue. Some green, some blue, and then some black. Got a bit of spitting out of that cap. That could have been just my finger, just catching the paint as it was coming out. So 
now we've done the colours for that one I'll just move a shave away for a minute and we'll get the plastic bag the sheet that I've cut off to make the texture with we'll just place it on the sheet for your texture go back over a bit places so I'll have a texture on that one so I'm gonna go back to a piece of card here I'm just gonna put it on there and then we'll do the highlight first so a quick mist And then a shadowed area. So as you can see, you get a lot of paint out of these. So we'll move on to this smaller one now. So we could use a piece of card again. I think I'll do that green first. So, card there. Stop any overspray going on. And a bit of blue. A bit more green. Some black. And some white. See, even when you press it lightly, it produces a lot of paint. So we'll get the material we're using. So the texture. Some lines in it. Go back over it a few times. So I like that, so I'm going to leave that like that. Back to the card. And the white for the mist. So that's a mist on it. Highlight. Now a bit of black at the back. This one's spitting a bit. Got a bit of pooling of paint on the nozzle. So if you get that, just give it a clean off. Should stop it spitting then. So now we'll move on to a smaller one. So I'm going to give a card again. Just put it there, stop any overspray going on anything. Bit of green. See, this is a small planet, so you might have a bit of, uh, quite a bit of paint in one small area. And a bit of white. So a bit of separation there of the paint, not much. Put any more paint on top of there, the paint would have started separating a lot. So do some texture on this one. Just give it a light rub. I think I might turn this one a bit, see what it does. Gonna add a bit more green onto that, I think. Bit of black, a bit of white. Just give it a bit of a different texture than the others. So get another piece of plastic, fold it up a couple of times like that and just turn it slightly. Well I'll have a texture on that one. So 
then we'll go back to the card, stop any overspray going onto the other planet. This cap doesn't seem to be spraying properly, so just give it another wipe. I'll do some mist on it first. So just try and mist this end. See what I mean about the fat catch producing a lot of overspray. And we'll get the black. I might just put a bit more black here on this back. So, I'm not gonna use a piece of card for this. Just gonna, that'll do. So there the highlights and shadows done. So now it's time to put the lid stencils back on. But ideally you want the paint to be dry before doing that. Because if the paint's still wet and you place a lid stencil on, the lid will dig into the paint a bit, into the wet paint, and then leave a ring on your planet when you take the lid off later. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on while the paint is still wet. So these fat caps let a lot of paint out, so the paint's still pretty wet. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on anyway. So if it does leave rings on the planet, when I lift the lids off, you can see what I'm on about. So first of all, we'll put the big lid stencil on. Just remember to cover a bit of a shadowed area in the highlighted area. So I'm going to have that one there. I'm going to have that one there. That one there. And then a small one. So there are the lid stencils on, so we'll move on to the background now. So first of all I'm going to add a bit of colour down here. I've already got a bit of blue here. I'll just add a bit more blue to it. So as you can see when you're spraying it light, the cap, all the overspray that comes off it. Got a bit of paint down there. I think I'll add a bit of green on it. See how much of an area it covers just by pressing it light. Bit of blue. So now I'll get the black. So the cap's not spraying very good. Can you see it? It's just spraying all over the place, spitting. So I'm just going to give it a clean, see if that helps. So clean the cap, let's see. Now I see it's still doing it a bit. But I'll carry on with the cap because it's just the background. We're gonna be peeling some of this, taking some of this black paint off now. We'll get some the plastic sheet or whatever material you're using. Crunch it up. Gonna put some texture in the painting, background like a galaxy or summit. Take a bit more off there. So we've got quite a bit of paint down here. You can always go back over it a bit, take a bit of paint off in places, bring some more of the colour back through. So 
the lighter texture on that. So now I think I'm going to put some blue around it. See what it's like for misting these fat caps. So it'll be the same as doing the highlights on these planets. So we're just going to press the cap lightly and move fast across the painting. So I quite like that, even though it produces quite a lot of paint, when you're pressing the cap even lightly, it still produces like a nice mist. Quite like that. So I'm going to leave that like that for now. I'm going to go for black. I think this cap's still not working right. Let's just try over here this side. Yeah, see, I'm, up, I'm, I'm going to stop using this cap for now because as you can see, it's spraying all over the place. I'm not sure if it's a big clog somewhere, a nozzle or something. But I'm going to sit that to one side for a minute. Because the paint's just going all over the place. So I'll sit back there for a minute. I think I'm going to use... I'll use a blue one, I think. Actually, that's doing the same. Well, it might not be the cap. It might just be the... Be just the paint. So I'm gonna go back and use this cap of thing, this black one. Just remember when you go around these lid stencils to press a bit lighter so you get no leaking underneath the stencils, no overspray. But it can be hard when you're using a fat cap because it produces a lot of paint. See what I mean about it spraying funny. See I'm spraying now, so it should be spraying the black here. But it's doing a line underneath. So I'm just going to go back to this one, the blue one, I think. So, light round your lid stencils. Bring a bit of black onto here. Bit there at the bottom. When you press it down lightly, it does like do a quite a nice mist effect. But like the fat caps, they do produce a lot of paint even when pressing them down lightly. So I'm going to go back to the blue. I'm just going to try and blend some of the blue back into this black bit of mist around it so like I said quickly move back and forth as you're spraying it so you get like a mist effect back to black try and blend it in as you can see with a fat cap even though we've got a back black background you can see how far the fat cap spray the paint out when it hits the overspray it's like I was misting here but it's overspray to here as well so I'll just get a black go back over and just try and blend it back in So there's no rush when you're doing spray paint. I'll just take your time and enjoy while you're painting. So now I think I might add a bit of green here, up here to this background, do a bit of misting or something.
doesn't really matter how much paint you put down when you're putting a colour. As you can always go back with a bit of black to blend it back in. Might just put a bit of blue here at the top as well. Mix a bit in. So like that, so I'm going to just go back over black in parts. So I'm just like pressing the cap down real light just to give like a burst of paint out so it doesn't produce much. I think I might just add a bit of colour here behind this big planet. So first of all I'll use a blue. Just like do a bit of misting. I'm gonna use a bit of a green I think. And just a bit of black, blend it back in. So I like the background as it is, so now I'm going to add some small stars, so we'll get the white spray paint. And what we're going to do is spray some on our fingers here. So. got some on the fingers like that and then what you want to do is when you spray some onto your fingers flick it away from the painting a couple of times to get most of the paint off and then flick it onto your sheet that way you won't get big white blobs on your painting that don't look like stars spray it on the finger and then flick it a few times and then flick, flick the rest onto the sheet You can put as many stars as you want in your painting, it's up to you. Put a few more up here, a few down here. So there are small stars in, might have put a bit too many on there but it doesn't matter. Right the next thing I was going to do is put a star in, a bigger star using this paint scraper. But with the amount of paint coming out of the caps, I'm not sure this scraper is going to be any good. I think the stars are just going to be too big. So I'm going to get another paint scraper, I'm still going to give it a go I think. Just to see what it's like, I'm going to get this paint scraper which is a bit bigger. And I think I might just add the star. Um, I'm not really sure where to put this. I'm just going to go here, I think. Just put one here. So, with the white paint, we're going to be spraying the white into the middle of the scraper here, as the overspray will be making the lines for the star. I could put a star here in the middle, but I quite like the texture and the colours here, so I want to leave that. So like I said, the white paint and the paint scraper. And I'm gonna add it here, I think. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Right, so spray the white into the middle, like I said, and the overspray will be making the line. And also what you want to do is keep an eye on the build-up of paint on your scraper. If it gets too much it'll run off and put white dots on your painting, drip off and have all white dots on your painting which won't look right. So if you want every time you do a line just wipe the scraper off a bit, especially with these fat caps that produce a lot of paint. I'll put another line in here. Now 
to wipe it off again. Just be on the safe side. Put another line here. So when I'm doing these lines, all I'm doing is pressing the cap lightly. So I quite like how that starts to turn down. I'm just going to do a bit more on this line here, I think. So, back to the paint scraper. Might do this one again just here. And then this one that's going across thing. Just don't forget to wipe the paint scraper. And then I think I'll do. So there the line's done for the big star. I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out. I was expecting a lot more overspray on it because of using the fat cap, but it's turned out pretty nice. So now we're going to add some white into the middle of the star, but because we've had a lot of paint produced from the fat cap anyway, there's quite a lot of white in the middle to begin with. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and place some in the middle. But first of all, I'm just going to see how big it sprays here. So I'm going to move this card out of the way a bit because of the overspray. Put it there. And just do a couple of dots on here to show you how much of a dot these fat caps produce. So you press the cap down lightly. Press it too light and it spits like that. See it's spitting. So I'm just going to have to clean this cap off now because it's spitting a bit and pooled on the nozzle. So now I'll clean the cap off, I'll just do it again. So you press the cap down just lightly. So you just produce too much white paint that will. So you'll have a big white blob in your paint in there if you use your stride of the cap. Plus when it hits a paint and all the overspray will go everywhere so you'll lose the lines on your star. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm using a fat cap, I'm going to use this food tub, a cone shaped food tub. And what you can do with this, I normally make smaller stars with this, but you can also use this to put a circle in the middle of this big star. And what we'll do is just spray the white through here, into here, onto a painting. So place it over a star, and then we're just going to spray the white through it. And you can move the tub around as you're spraying it. As you saw there, if you put too much in these cone shaped things, get a lot of white paint build up in here. And these fat caps, like I said, produce a lot of paint. So as you can see, it dripped out of the bottom a bit. The only reason for that is because of the fat caps. If I'd been using like a skinny cap or something else that produces less paint out of the cap, then this dripping wouldn't have happened. So if that happens, what you can do is you can get a piece of sponge or something. And you can just get it on the sheet and just dab it a bit. Get the white paint up. Yeah, it leaves a bit of a mark in the paint, but we can cover that up later. And also, with this being in the middle of a style, you could leave this, but. I'm just going to try and soak a bit up so it's not pooling. 
Trouble is moving there, so he'll bring the colours from underneath off. So you can just move it a bit. I'm going to move it quite a bit. Like that. So soak a bit of it up. And I'm going to go back over it with the cone shaped food tub. So I'll get the white again and hopefully it won't do it again. So. Keep an eye on it. So like I said, these are the first time using this paint and the cap on it, the fat cap on these cans, the stock cap that comes with the cans. So it's like learning. Just practice getting used to the cans and the caps you're using and the pressure of a valve system and stuff like that. Might take a few paintings to get used to things. So I'll just go over this again, just lightly. So I think that'll do for a big star. I quite like the way that looks. So if you are using a fatter cap or something on your spray cans, and you think it's going to cover the star up after you put the lines in, you could always use something like this to do your middles of the star so then you don't get a big white blob on your painting that covers all your lines up or anything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the cone shaped food tub and I'm going to put some bigger stars than the ones we flicked with our fingers and some smaller ones than this. So I think I might add a couple of colourful stars first. So get the green. I'll put a green star up here, I think. Just see how these go. So hold it about three inches above the painting and just spray straight through, the same as we did the middle of this star. And then you've got like a green star there. And where we took the paint off here with the sponge, I'm just going to put a green one there, I think. And I'll have one here, I think. You can also add the blue star. So I'll just get a blue. And add one here. So I'm just keeping an eye on this food tubs, because like I said, the fat cabs produce a lot of paint and I don't want it dripping on me painting. Again, like it happened with the white. I think I might just have one more blue one here, I think. I go to a white and then what you can do is you can put a bit of white into the middle of these coloured stars, make them glow a bit. So just press the cap lightly, so you don't produce much paint. Now I'll just put the last one here. And you can also, if you want, just put white stars in. So we'll have one here. Now one there. One there, and I might have just one here. Yeah, one um, there. Right, that's all the stars added to the painting. Like I said, I quite like this big star way it's turned out. Surprised how well these lines have come out. I was expecting more overspray. Quite like the colours in the background and the other stars. So now it's time to take the lid stencils back off. So like I said, the paint was wet when I put the lid stencils on. 
So I'm expecting these to stick a bit. So I'll take this one off first, the small one. So it's slightly stuck, that one was. Now next one. That was slightly stuck as well. Now this one. That come out alright, just slightly stuck as well. Let's try this big one now. So this one's a bit more stuck. So just take your time and lifting it. I'm going to have to get a pallet knife here or something just to hold the painting down a bit while I lift it up. So as you heard, then it was a bit stuck, so I'm expecting a bit of a ring left on this planet. So they have a lid stencils off the planet, and I quite like how these planets have turned out. I like the colours on them, and I like the texture. And as you saw when I was lifting the lid stencils off, they were stuck a bit, especially this big one here. But even though it was stuck, it hasn't really dug into the paint. And left the ring on the planet which is good i'm quite surprised it hasn't to be honest especially the amount of paint that was coming out of the caps so that's a painting finish so the last thing we're going to do is sign a painting so we'll get the pallet knife or whatever you're using to sign your painting with and i'm going to sign mine here so so the paint's a bit too dry there to sign it with a pallet knife so what you can do is you can use a paint pen or a white pen, white marker pen, something like that. And you can sign it with that. So because the paint's a bit too dry, I'm going to use a white paint pen to sign it with. Just put, pull some paint through it. So I think the Dope 400 Classic worked well for spray paint art. The level 4 fat cap that came with the cans worked good. But with it being a fat cap it did let too much paint out. Which caused some build up of paint around the nozzle. But this could have been down to me not being used to the caps. Also at times when doing things it produced a lot of overspray on the painting. If I was going to use a Dope 400 Classic for spray paint art. I would use a different cap on the cans, like a skinny cap. This way there'd be less paint coming out and less overspray on the painting. The paint also dried pretty fast, which can be a good thing. Faster than I thought it would, especially having used a fat cap, which lets more paint out. The low pressure valve system gave a good control over how much paint came out when pressing the cap down with different pressures. But with it having a fat cap on the cans, at times I found it hard to control the amount that came out. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things. But overall I enjoy painting with a Dope 400 Classic. It was a bit of a challenge painting with a fat cap but I still like how the painting has turned out. I found it nice to use and the colours I chose were nice and bright. And also, just remember to take your time, enjoy what you're painting, and let each layer stage dry before moving on to the next. So I'll just give you a closer look of a painting. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.